Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another seven looks video. Today we are doing seven looks using the new Natasha Denona Love Palette. I was very excited when this palette was announced. It happened to be released at the tail end of my full month of nothing new. Also, I've been really into soft pinks and purples lately, but believe it or not, as large as my eyeshadow palette collection is, those aren't actually colors that I own a lot of. And as if those weren't reasons enough, I also had a $20 gift card at Beautylish. So this was a no-brainer for me, and I knew I wanted to do seven looks with this palette. So this is how this video is going to go. We will get into the seven looks first. Following those seven looks, I will be sharing with you guys some details, some swatches, and most importantly, my thoughts and review on this palette so far, because I have tried out every shade inside here, many of them more than once, so I do have some thoughts on this and be sure to stick around to the end because I feel like I need to explain myself on a couple of these looks that I maybe struggled with a little bit. And then at the very end I'm going to share with you guys some comparison swatches because there were a few shades in here that reminded me of other shades that I own throughout my collection. So hopefully all that information will help you guys determine whether or not this is a palette that is right for you or worth your money. Quickly before we jump into the seven looks, special welcome to any of you that are newer to my channel. I hope that you will consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video. And with that said, let's jump right into look number one.
All right, that is it for the seven looks. I hope that you guys enjoyed those. I haven't gone through all the footage yet, so I don't know for sure, but I have to say I'm really leaning towards the one that I'm actually wearing right now. But let's get into some details about this palette. So here is a closer look at the Natasha Denona Love palette. As you can see, it is a 15 pan palette. It retails for $65 on Natasha Denona's website, on Sephora's website, and also on Beautylish. And as you can obviously tell, this is a very Valentine's Day pink and purple palette. If you are not into pinks and purples, you can probably just turn off this video right now because I can tell you, you will not like this palette. So here are all the shades that swatched on my arm. I've really been into these kind of pinks and soft purples and plum colors lately, but as much as I do love a soft, girly kind of pink eyeshadow, I have to say I'm not a huge fan of bold pinks on my eyes. And I want to mention that before we get into kind of my thoughts on the palette and the things I didn't love so much about this palette because that's definitely going to be a factor in why maybe some of these shades I didn't love as much as I thought that I would. But let's go ahead and start off with the things that I love. I love the pink packaging with the red inside. I think it's so cute and very Valentine's Day, but still very high-end and luxury looking and feeling. So all the shimmers in here are a little bit different, and I absolutely love that. I actually really like that they're not all just one formula across the board. I feel like that some of the mattes are a little bit different. Some of the shimmers are a little bit different. Some are true metallics like this silver color right here, yet some are very much a more satin finish that has a nice sprinkling of glitter throughout. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but there's lots and lots of beautiful, very refined glitter inside this shade right here. So those are two that I absolutely love. This one right here is the color Blind, and then this one right here is the color Passion. Another shade I really loved in here is this one, the shade Pure Love. It's kind of like a warm purple that has an iridescent blue shift to it. This is such a beautiful, beautiful color. I really love this purple shade in the corner, Trust. It was one of the better performing crease and transition shades inside here that was one of the easiest ones to work with. I also loved these two shades right here. This one, which is called Transparent, is truly that. It's one of those kind of topper shades. I loved the gold inside here. This is the one I'm wearing on my lids right now. It's a very interesting gold. It's a warm, soft, peachy gold that has a little bit of like a pink reflect to it. It's definitely a unique golden kind of pink. I don't think I have anything quite like this in my collection. I just love how this looks on my eyelids. It's beautiful. I love the shade right here, the shade Commitment. It's a very kind of deep, cool-toned plum. It looks so beautiful, smoked into your outer corner. I'm wearing this just barely on the outer corner of the eyes. In this look, I wore it in quite a few different looks, and I loved working with that shade. It is a more satin formula, and probably my favorite shade to use in my transition was this shade right here, the color Soul. You can see it's more of like a, almost like a brick pink. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just a little bit more dusty without being cool toned. Very pretty shade and one of the easier pink or reds to work with in here. So now I wanna get into a few things that were a little bit difficult for me. I had a little bit of a hard time working with some of the matte pinks and purples inside here. The two that I think gave me the most trouble were these two right here, the color Intense which is so funny because it swatches so smooth and so creamy. And also this color right here, Heart. Another shade I had just a little bit of trouble with was this one right here, the purple in the corner. This is the kind of blue toned purple, the color Dream. Oh, it's so pretty swatched. Now, keep in mind, you guys, I am not a professional makeup artist. Also, when I am working with a pink or a red or even a purple, I usually like those looks to be a little bit more soft. Here's where I found a little bit of trouble with some of these colors. It's hard to get these on your eyes in a soft way. I don't really want this color to look like this on my eyes. That's just a little bit too bold for my liking, but something this intense when you go in with, say, a fluffy blending brush like the Morphe M504, I found when I would go in with a light layer of this and I'd kind of like blend it onto my eye, it seemed to go on a little bit more patchy. I feel like shades that are this rich and intense are better packed onto the eyelids with either more of like a flat brush or a dense brush rather than blended like into the corner or up into the crease. And that was pretty much the same thing with all three of these shades right here. I found them to be just a tiny bit patchy on my eyes. And what happens is if it's a little bit patchy, I have to dip back into the palette and just keep applying more and more until that patchiness goes away. And by that point, I feel like I've gotten a little more color than I initially wanted. So when I'm going for a more subdued look, it's hard to get that with colors that are this bold and intense. My last thought on this palette, as much as I love the pinks and purples in here, I would have really loved to see a traditional transition shade inside here. I feel like that just would have made these looks way 
easier to work with because I just had a difficult time with my transition area in a lot of those looks because I found most of these colors were just a little bit too bold to be my first shade. And then this shade right here just didn't really show up in my transition area. I really feel like I need a little more time to play with this palette. So I don't want to say I don't enjoy this or I don't think it's good. It just was not what I was expecting it to be. I think when I saw the swatches of this and when I even swatched it myself, I was thinking of more soft pastel kind of eyes and it ended up applying to my eyes a little bit more bold than I was prepared for. There's a very good chance that as I work with this palette a little bit more, I may very well figure out how to use them in a way that's a little bit easier and that actually works for me. So I really wanted to tell you guys that in case your expectations looking at this are maybe similar to what mine are. All right guys, so now we're gonna jump into some of the palettes inside my collection that have some shades inside them that I feel are very similar to the ones inside the Natasha Denona Love Palette. I think the best way to do this is just gonna be to go through each palette and pick out the shades that are similar. And we're gonna start by going into the other Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette that I have, the Sunrise palette. So there is just one shade inside here that is surprisingly more similar than I thought it was when I was using it. Let me hold the palettes up for you guys. You may be able to tell which one it is. If you can't tell, it's these two right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch one inside the Love palette. This is the shade Heartbeat. So we'll just swatch this right on the back of my hand. And then this is the shade Cove inside the Sunrise palette. So as you might be able to tell, they're quite similar. This one has a little bit more of like a plum tone to it, whereas this is a little bit more of like a brick red sort of tone. The formula of these two shades is also very identical. Now let's jump into a couple of Juvia's Place palettes. The first one being the Deuce palette by Juvia's Place. Now there are just two shades inside here that I feel like might be similar, starting with the silvers. They actually don't look similar to each other very much at all inside the pan. Starting with the silver inside the Love palette, the shade Blind. So there is Blind. Then I'm gonna swatch Mont Blanc from the Deuce palette. So there is Mont Blanc. Much more similar than I thought they would be. They look very different in the pan. The Natasha Denona shade is a little bit more rich, a little bit more opaque. And I also think the Natasha Denona one, I'm not sure if you can tell, has a little bit more of a taupey sort of purple undertone to it, whereas this one is just kind of a very standard silver. Both of them are beautiful though, and I think would give you a pretty similar effect on the eyelid. I am gonna leave a little bit of space right there because I do have another silver that I wanna swatch in a minute. But let's move into one more shade inside here, and it's this corner pink right here. Reminds me of this pink. Actually, it kind of reminds me of a mix between these two pinks. So why don't we go ahead and swatch the Juvia's Place pink. This is the color Creme. Let's swatch that one right here. Just a nice kind of bubblegum pink. And then I'm going to swatch the shade Valentine, which is the lighter pink inside the Love palette. Okay, that's very similar. Very similar. The shade Valentine is a little bit more cool toned, whereas this one is a little bit more of like a peachy warm toned pink. I will go ahead and swatch the shade Intense, which is the one right next to it. Because I feel like this one actually looks more similar in the pan. But you can see it's quite a bit deeper. Now moving into the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. The only shade inside of here I think might be a dupe is this red right here. So I'm going to swatch this red, which is Koji, right here. And I will swatch that next to the shade Heart inside the Love Palette. Okay, those are quite different. So the shade Koji is a true like orange tone red, whereas the shade Heart is a much more deep kind of raspberry red. Now let's move into the Nubian 2 palette. And there is really just one possible dupe inside here and it's this dark shade right here. This is the shade Layla. So let's go ahead and swatch the Layla shade from Juvia's Place first. So there it is, just a deep kind of cool tone plum purple. And then let's swatch the shade Commitment from Natasha Denona. Okay, quite different actually, the swatches. I feel like they perform a little bit more similarly on the eye because this shade can be built up pretty easily and pretty intensely. So that is it for Juvia's Place. Now let's move into a couple of ColourPop palettes. First off, let's jump into the It's My Pleasure palette. Mainly this kind of shimmery shade right here, the shade Pure Love, which is kind of the iridescent purple. That shade does remind me a little bit of one of these two shades. I kind of feel like it's gonna fall somewhere in the middle of these two. Let's go ahead and swatch the Natasha Denona one first. Again, this is the shade Pure Love. Now I wanna swatch these two shades right here, which are the two kind of shimmery, iridescent purples inside here. The first one, the darker one, is the shade Dew or Doe. So you can see this one has a little bit more of a true purple undertone 
whereas this one's a little more rosy. And then right below that is the shade Earthshine, and that one is significantly lighter, so that's definitely not a dupe. Next color pop palette I want to do some comparisons with is the Sweet Talk palette. I think the cream colors might be dupes for each other. I also think this kind of pinky shade right here might be a dupe for one of those two shades. So let's give it a try. Let's start with the ColourPop shade right here. This is the shade Dream Maker. I'm feeling this one's going to be quite a bit more peach toned than truly pink toned. Let's go ahead and swatch both of these shades next to that one. I know they're not going to be dupes for each other. I can already tell just based on that first swatch. You can see this one is much more cool toned. And then this is the shade next to it, the shade Intense which has the right depth but is much more pink tone, whereas this one is more of a peach. I do want to go ahead and swatch this corner shade right here, which is the shade Feel Free, and I'm going to swatch that next to this shade at the top, which, if you'll remember, was the shade Heartbeat right here in the center. Okay. Quite similar. Okay, now I want to move into the Huda Nude Light Palette. This one I thought would have more similarities in it than I think it actually does or will. I haven't swatched them yet, but just by looking at the pans, I can already tell there's going to be quite a few differences. But let's go ahead and swatch this center purple shimmery shade up here next to the center purple shimmery shade in the Love Palette. So again, this is the shade Pure Love from the Love Palette. And then this is the center purple in the Nude Light Palette from Huda Beauty, which as you can see is significantly more of a cool tone golden purple. Let's go ahead and swatch these two kind of light pinks next to each other. So this is the matte pink valentine in the Natasha Denona palette and then this is the light matte pink in the Huda palette. So those are somewhat similar. This one is a little bit lighter and other than that that's really where the similarities end. Now I want to move into my ABH palettes. I do have a couple ABH palettes that I think might have some similarities in them. Let's start off with the Carly Bible palette. The first shade I thought of inside here was the red and I love this shade. It's actually one of my favorite shades inside this ABH palette. I'm going to swatch this one right here and now I'm going to swatch the color heart and I'm also going to swatch the color heartbeat. Let's start off with the color heart which is more the bold red. As you can see, it's much more of a true bold red. Now I'm going to swatch the color Heartbeat, which is more of like a plum toned red. And that one is quite similar. So, but I also wanted to swatch the shimmery purple inside here. This is the color Mandala. And I want to swatch that next to this color right here, which is the color Pure Love. If you'll remember, I swatched the Huda palette next to this one. So here's the color Pure Love from the Love palette. And this is the color Mandala from the Carly Bible palette. Very different. Now let's move in to the Sultry palette. The only shade inside here that I thought of is the silver, the shade Cyborg. The color blind in the Love palette reminded me a lot of Cyborg when I was first looking at the palette and swatching it. So I'm going to go back over to this hand. You'll see I left that little space right there. We're going to swatch ABH's Cyborg right next to these two shades. So if you'll remember, this shade at the top is the one from the Love palette. And there is Cyborg right there. So quite similar to each other. Now moving into the Jackie Aina palette. Surprisingly, when I opened up this palette, it reminded me the most of any palette that I've opened up. It had the most similar feel to it. This side over here, I feel like we've got some similarities. I was very surprised by that. So let's go ahead and swatch some of these. Let's start off by comparing some of the purples. We're going to go into the Natasha Denona Love palette and take the shade Trust here in the corner. I'm going to swatch that. And I want to compare that to the shade Big Wig right here. So you can see Big Wig is just a little bit more, I don't know, they're quite similar to each other. I do just feel like this one has a little bit more cool tone to it. I also want to swatch this purple right here. This is the shade Shookington. Okay, so there is Shookington. You can see it's not anything like this one, but I do want to swatch that one next to this shade from the Love Palette. This is the shade Dream. This is one of the shades that I had a little bit more trouble with, and even swatching it, it's just... It feels so soft and creamy. It's a very unique formula. I wonder if this is just a formula I need to get used to using. So there it is right there. I feel like the color is very, very similar. It's just a totally different formula. This is a shimmer, whereas this one is kind of like a creamy matte. Now I want to swatch these two matte pinks right here. I feel like those are going to be pretty similar to some of the matte pinks inside the Love Palette. So let's start off with this one right here, the deeper pink. It is the shade Pinker. All right, so there's the shade Pinker, and that reminds me a lot of the shade Heartbeat. Okay, that's really similar. Wow. 
Those are pretty similar. Now let's go into the shade Supreme, which is this lighter matte pink. There is the shade Supreme, and that one reminds me quite, oh, it's hard to say. I feel like it could be any of these three right here. Reminds me most of this one, which is the shade Intense. Let's go ahead and swatch that one first. So there is the shade Intense. Close. Let's go ahead and swatch this shade Soul as well. I think this one's going to be a little bit too deep. Okay, yeah, that's quite a bit deeper. And last one, I do want to also compare it to the shade Valentine. This shade looks a lot lighter in the pan than I feel like it shows up in both the swatch and also on the eye. It's a lot more pigmented than it looks inside the pan. So there it is right there. So those are definitely the closest match right there. One more shade inside the Love Palette that reminded me of the Jackie Ina Palette is this gold right here. This again is the shade Lifetime and it does remind me a little bit of the shade Zam from Jackie Ina. So let's start off with the shade Lifetime. This is the Natasha Denona shade. This is the shade that I am wearing on my eyelids today and I'm going to swatch that next to the shade Zam. Not sure how well you can see those. The swatches look quite similar to each other. I feel like they look a little bit more different in person. This one is quite a bit more peach toned, the one from Natasha Denona. And also the formulas are a bit different. The one from ABH, the color Zam, is a lot more of a dry shimmer and also has a lot more glitter and just reflectiveness to it. It's much more of like a chunky shimmer, but in a good way. I do love that shade. Whereas this one is more of like a smooth kind of satiny shiver. But on the eyes, I think they're going to look quite similar to each other. Now we're going to move on to my last possible dupe, and it is the Riviera palette from ABH. Really, the only two shades in here I think might be similar are the shimmery pink right here, the shade Lermo, and also the matte lighter pink, the shade Monte Carlo. This is the shade Palermo, and that one reminds me a little bit of the shade Passion inside here. I think this is going to be a deeper color. Okay, those are very different actually. But I do think we might have more luck with the shade Monte Carlo, which is the matte pink. So I know this is getting a little tricky to see. I'm just completely out of room, but there is the swatch from the Riviera palette. This swatch right here is the lighter pink from the Jackie Ina palette. This one is the medium toned pink right here. This one below it is the lighter toned pink, the shade right here. And then this darker one down here is the shade Soul in the corner there. So as you can see, close, but not quite a dupe. I'd say it's definitely closest to that first one. That is pretty much it. Those are all the similar shades that I found inside my existing collection. I really hope that that was helpful for you guys. I do just want to finish off with a couple of final thoughts on this palette. Despite the fact that I had a little bit of trouble with a few of the shades inside here, for the most part, I really enjoyed this palette and I am excited to keep trying out some of those more difficult shades using different brushes, different techniques, and try and figure out better ways to get them to work for me. Because I really kind of feel like this is a palette that maybe has a learning curve, especially if you are not into bold color. If you are into bolder pinks and purples, I think you will absolutely love this thing. Just overall, be aware, this may not be for the beginner and eyeshadow application. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know if any of you ended up picking up this palette. If you've tried it out yet, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel today. I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. Hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet done that. But that is it. I hope that you guys have a good one and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye. Oh, it's going to be a long one, guys. From the Natasha Denona pilot. Oh my gosh.